Felix, everything came right for you last year when you won your second Olympic title, and it's all going in the right direction this year as well. Yeah, I'd say, I mean, it's ended up on the right track. Started a little shaky, a little overweight at the beginning of the season, coming back into training. And then um, I had a little hamstring injury, then a little quad strain, so nothing serious, but just enough to kind of keep me off uh, full training schedule. And then I uh, started the season really late. It's not like the old days where there are a lot of small meets. At the time I was ready to start training, I mean, start competing, there were only Diamond Leagues left, so it was touchy because you have to get thrown into the fire. I guess guys have already run four, five, six races. Um, some already coming off the championships. I had to go in there and compete with them, but I did my best. It was tricky because my instinct is to compete, but at that early in the season, starting my season so late, you have a, the important thing is to uh, find your steps and get in your rhythm. And I kept throwing the rhythm out and just competing and it didn't work out that well. I mean, I ran decent 48.5 coming into the champs. Uh, half, I ran four races before. One race was terrible. Two races I had good finish. One race had a good start. Just glad it came all together. I mean, since Narrows ran a great semi, it was good that we were able to watch the other two yeah. semis. But it was bad because you never really know what the younger guys are going to do. I mean, we just looked at all the results and it's very close. Oh, yeah, so. I knew that coming in. I told a couple of people that is there's about eight or nine, ten guys maybe that are within half a second and 75, 80 percent of the guys that run in the semifinal are going to run slower in the final. Um, this comes down to conservation and, and hurdle technique and not making any mistakes in the final. And you have great hurdle technique. Oh yes, I mean anybody can hurdle fresh but the key to having good technique is being a hurdle efficient and, yep. and good technically sound when you're tired. So who are your predictions for top three? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to say the Caribbean is going to sweep it. Mm -hmm. I don't know which countries. <laughs> I mean, I hope I'm on the podium. That's the plan, obviously. Got to get some rest. What hurt me today is obviously watching the other semifinals and anticipating a slower race. And Cisneros obviously had another plan. I went out to run about 48.5, 48.3 pace. And then I realized he was going. So I kind of went with him just to see if he would relax a bit. He didn't. And then um, I had to run a lot harder than I thought. But we'll see what he has in the final. For me, the favorite right now, just watching, just judging the semis, is uh, Jehu Gordon. Because he ran the almost effortlessly uh, coming off the last hurdle. So we'll see, though. He's young. He can make mistakes. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.